Okay. Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you guys um, some information. I went to the Bonner Brothers hair show um, that they had on the 14th in Baltimore, Maryland. And I had a wonderful time and I got some products um, from the hair show and I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I got from the hair show. And they had the they had the fantasy hair um, contest, um, which was a trip. You got to see some crazy, funky um, hairstyles that you wouldn't normally wear. But <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys a few things that I got from the hair show. Um, I purchased this one and a half inch titanium flat iron. Um, I've been wanting one of these, so when I saw one at the hair show, I just couldn't resist. And it's really nice. Um, like I said, it's um, titanium. It has a titanium plates. It goes up to 450 degrees. And I used it today, and it works. It's awesome. It works great. Um, so I was real happy to get this. And it's from Pro Fashion. So, got that. Got a bunch of products. Oh, I got this. They had a uh, Mix Chicks. Um, the company Mix Chicks was at the uh, show. So, I got some products from Mix Chicks. I got the shampoo, deep conditioner, and the hair serum. I got this, um, and this was 40 bucks, so I didn't think that was too bad. I haven't tried it yet, but I did get it. I'm going to try it soon, probably on myself and some of my clients. I also got the um, Dominican, what is this called? Dominican Magic. I got some Dominican Magic products. Um, it's the shampoo. I'm going to open this. Um, it came with the Dominican Magic Detangling Shampoo. The Dominican Magic Leave-In Conditioner. The Nourishing Hair Mask. And some Hair Shine. And also a pamphlet on other products that the company offers and I also got some heat protectant the Dominican magic heat protectant as well I did use this today and actually um, I washed this Indian curly um, this Indian curly hair I used this Dominican Magic Detangling Shampoo. I also use the hair mask and the leave-in conditioner. Okay, sorry about that guys. My uh, memory card got full. But as I was saying, um, I talked about the Dominican products I purchased at the hair show. Um, I also got some other products. I got some Bonner Brother products. Um, I got some braid and lock oil. And this is basically a bunch of different uh, oils like castor oil, oil, almond oil has um, different vitamins in it um, and I basically use this um, for when I do sew-ins um, I braid this in the braid, I mean I, I braid it and I spray this in the braid so that your scalp won't be so dry but after I do a braid for my sew-in base I always uh, use some type of oil and this is pretty good so I got some of that um, and it's by Bonner Brothers um, also got some braid and lock and twist uh, gel. Some twist cream for braids and locks. Some nylon weaving thread. Uh, got it just because it was there. I got a big old spool at my workstation, but you can never have enough of that when you do sew-ins a lot. And just some castor oil. Um, some scalp ale which is a dry shampoo well it's a spray shampoo actually um 
and I got that. I got that free. I got that free, and I got this olive oil hair strengthener for free, um, as well as this uh, BLT twist cream. Uh, I got these products for free when I purchased my ticket for the hair show. So I did get a couple of free things from the hair show. Um, also got this. These are the three part curler from Pro Fashion. The same company I purchased the titanium flat irons from. And this is like the curling wands. You guys have seen these, the curling wands. Well, this one has, dang, I'm trying to get this camera angle right. I don't know if you can see it. But this one has three attachments for three different sizes. And it makes some awesome waves, spirals, curls. I mean, awesome. I can't wait to do some styles with this. And um, I'll open up the box. I haven't opened it yet. but yeah uh, when I saw this I was like okay give me that I know I don't spend a grip but uh if you if you're gonna be broke you might as well be broke with some stuff that's gonna make you some money you know what I'm saying so anyway um has the three different attachments for the three different size curls waves um spirals that you can make so you will be seeing me use that and I got some uh, oh I got some um, <clears throat> okay you guys know I do sew ins weaves all this stuff so I'm trying to keep up with the latest techniques so I got some um, some DVDs on some different techniques um, that I'm going to be uh, trying because I want to add some different techniques into my regimen of um, doing hair weaves because I've been doing sew ins for a long time. I know how to do lace wigs too, but I don't um, I don't market that because first of all, it's very tedious, it's very time consuming, and it's very expensive, and I don't have the clientele for it honestly. So I just don't even I don't even say anything to people about lace wigs. I mean, you can get lace wigs from almost any store nowadays for I mean, a decent one from off of any uh, website, any of the wigs websites for probably, you know, a couple hundred bucks. And it'll take me way more than a couple hundred bucks to make a wig. Um, and that's not even including my time. So I don't even fool with the lace wigs. But I do know how to um, how to make them and ventilate and all that good stuff. But anyway, um, I got some DVDs on some different techniques that I want to try. Um, so... Eventually, I'll be maybe doing some videos um, on some different techniques that I'm going to try once I get those techniques down. Or at least I'll show you guys my attempts at them. But um, I'm always trying to update my craft. So, try to, if I can't make a class, I try to at least educate myself on what's, you know, some type of new technique if I can. But anyway, I got some DVDs to kind of, um, Help me with my different techniques of hair weaving, and they were kind of expensive. But like I said once before, um, you know, if it's something that's gonna make me some money, why not spend some money? Sometimes you gotta spend money to make money, it's just like that. That's just the truth, proof. All right, so um, there were a lot of vendors at the hair show. Um, a lot of hair vendors I got to talk to a lot of distributors of hair um, a lot of salon owners a lot of stylists a lot of instructors um, a lot of um, makeup artists and um, just a lot, a lot of talented people I got to meet a lot of talented people and discuss their craft you know they got to give you little tips and tricks you know, there were people there selling um, accessories, and um, it was awesome. I mean, it, I had a great time. Oh, how could I forget to tell y'all this? So, 
they had a um a drawing at the um at the show so the drawing was through it was sponsored by upscale upscale magazine um i had signed up for a subscription for a year subscription for upscale magazine so they gave me this nice big overnight bag that says upscale okay so i got that along with my subscription my year subscription and they gave me a um a poster a pocket planner um a couple of upscale magazines were inside the bag miss dd leaks okay so that was inside the bag they also had a drawing sponsored by um upscale magazine then the drawing was for a vip ticket to the next hair show which is going to be in atlanta georgia so um i kind of hung around actually it was me and my girlfriend we were i was looking through the magazines um because i i don't never i i, I never win anything well i'm reading my magazine she trying to get a ticket to the a vip ticket to the show because it'll be fantasia and all kinds of nice stuff going on so i'm reading my magazine because i was more interested in what upscale had in it than, than the damn ticket because i don't win shit anyway so anyway they read off the number her ticket and my ticket are like one one number apart and the only way i knew that was because she told me so i'm looking through my book and they call my number i'm still looking through the damn book so anyway she nudged me and said fool that's you so anyway i want a vip ticket to the atlanta hair show so if any of you guys are going to be at the uh, atlanta hair show sponsored by Bar barna brothers and I believe it's in August. I think it's August 20th through the 23rd. I'm not certain yet because they got to mail me the ticket with all the information. But I'll keep you guys posted and I, maybe I'll make another video and I'll try to say something about it. But it'll be awesome if you guys, if anyone happens to go to that show and I could kind of meet you guys there. It would be awesome. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you a little bit of my weekend. Um, me and my girlfriend, we drove up from Virginia to Baltimore. And we saw some funny shit in Baltimore. <laughs> it's some crazy ass people. <laughs> we saw some funny shit in Baltimore. I am not lying. I'm going to do a, I'm going I'm to I'm put a little clip up with some, a few pictures from the hair show and, and things. But um, we were leaving downtown Baltimore, headed for the highway. And I thought I was seeing things, but I saw this brother, he was walking down, walking down the street. And this dude was walking a damn horse like he was walking a dog. And I turned around and I looked, I said, wait, is this motherfucker walking a dang old horse like a dog? <laughs> it won't no parade, won't no, won't no event. This nigga was just walking a horse like it was a dog. And I was just, I was taking the back back. It was just some funny shit. We saw some funny shit the entire time we was there funny 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 um we got lost it was just crazy saw a fight we saw a fight on the street we saw somebody get beat the hell up on the street that was my that was my clue to saying you know what i am never going out of town again unless i got a gps because i am not getting lost in the wrong neighborhood again we saw a brawl and on um, on the street in the daytime it was probably about 6 30 7 p.m and somebody was getting their ass kicked right there on the street in front of us. And I was like, let me get the hell out of here because this is not where I want to be without, without no damn man. Just me and her. But anyway, it was still a good time. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So um, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs>